Much has changed since Lars Tuverson first got behind the wheel of a tractor as a 16-year-old. 45 years on, these farm machines are space age. They're still doing the same job of spreading manure on the fields, but now they have extra terrestrial help beamed straight down into the tractor from the skies. Yeah, it was in years gone by, it was just dust, smoke, everything mechanical. These days, it's comfy seats, AC and satellites telling us exactly where we are and what we need to do on each square metre of the field. The tractor of the 2020s is packed with high-tech equipment. Sensors measure crop density to see exactly how much pesticide is needed and where not too little to endanger the crops or too much to endanger people. While satellites analyse a host of factors such as soil quality and nitrogen uptake. In a sugar beet field like this one, a farmer would normally have to use a mixture of guesswork and experience to decide the amount of fertiliser. But beaming down information from satellite can mean less waste for the food industry and less of an impact on the environment. It could be a small step for man in balancing our need for crops with our need not to destroy the planet or ourselves. The United Nations said three years ago that 200,000 people were dying annually from toxic exposure to pesticides, while excess fertiliser becomes greenhouse gas or leaches into rivers and oceans. The Lantmenen Farming Cooperative here in Sweden says it aims to halve its climate impact every 10 years while increasing production, partly with the help of the satellite platform invented by 22-year-old Robert Schmidt. The correct amount of fertilizers enables you to have the, uh, the best yield as well as the best quality of the plant. If you apply too much, then it will be bad for the environment, or if you apply too little, it might be bad for the yield or the quality of the crop. With our technology, we see it being able to reduce the amount of wasted nutrients by about half. The coronavirus pandemic has shown a greater local food supply to be more vital than ever. High-tech tractors may mean climate goals don't have to take a back seat as a result. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Svalov, Sweden.